गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू सीरीज ऑन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन मेनली द बिहेवियरल क्वेश्चन सो मोस्टली वी फोकस ऑन आर डी एस ए और द टेक्निकल पार्ट्स बट मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज वी इग्नोर दिस पार्ट लाइक वॉट वी शुड प्रिपेयर फॉर द बिहेवियरल राउंड एंड वेन एवर आफ्टर क्लियरिंग द टेक्निकल राउंड द टाइम फॉर बिहेवियरल राउंड कम्स we just uh, wonder we search in google but there is no such specific resource so that's why i have decided so let's this uh, have a very uh, small series that i will be discussing the most common question those are asked for the behavioral rounds and i will go walk, walk you through those, those the questions so the question for this video uh, is What, uh, have you ever have any conflict with your manager so this is a very famous question and you may find that in many companies this question may ask you to test like what should be your answer so uh, i will say like how to answer this what you should not do and how they are going to judge you for your question so as the question says uh, have you ever have any conflict with your manager so this question is a negative kind of question whatever you say if you you may think that if i say yes i have a conflict it may appear that uh that you you are having a uh, conflict with manager like you you are not doing with the flow or you are not able to cope up and if you say that i no i have never have any conflict that means that whatever are ask you to do you are doing that following that blindly you have no say so how we can uh, do it like how we can answer it we are going to discuss so the point as i said you can't say that i i, I didn't have ever any conflict this you should not say the second thing also you should not uh, say like this yes i have a conflict with my manager uh, he was not giving me uh, leave or he was not uh, i was trying to do it in my way but he was forcing the his way and that's why i had a very uh, huge conflict don't say like that way also so the positive and negative both way you can't say the direct answer so how you can answer it how you should say that i am going to say so but before that we will analyze the question and why this question is asked i will say so if you have a conflict that meaning suppose the way you are thinking and your manager is thinking is not getting matched so how efficiently you are handling that situation or uh, maybe in such a case are you just going with the flow you are not raising your voice or if you find that uh, you are uh, like you can do it with more good way but your you can can you suggest to your manager so how uh, well you can tackle any hard situation this is the question for that so now the answer is how you should reply so for example suppose your company or any company mostly uh, our company we work on some client based projects or where we have some customers so i'm not going generic but mainly in any project mostly we have some clients or we have some customers uh, and we just uh, work for our clients we our like necessary is to provide uh, our client the way we can do it so you can uh, frame one answer like this uh, you want to provide your client the all what he or uh, like what your client needs maybe your client is demanding and your manager is backing off but you are ready to provide whatever your client is de uh, demanding based on your uh, capability this can be a middle point like you are showing that you are eager to help your client that is definitely going to add a plus point uh, in your answer that yeah you are always ready to serve the clients because serving the client well is 
uh, for any project that is the priority even though they are demanding we need to answer them so one point you can add this next you can say that your manager is not wrong doing it like you can't say that your manager is wrong you can't like even though you're an interviewer you can't say your manager is wrong it's uh, it will create a bad impression on your head so whatever your manager is doing from his or her perspective is absolutely uh, right he or she is trying to protect his team and your client is more demanding so your maybe your manager ask you to not fulfill all the wish of the client or maybe uh, like instead of de doing the full work uh, send some uh, documents or video links to your client and you uh, you that time you had a conflict you said to your manager that uh, i can understand that by seeing saying those uh, documents or kt videos uh, my client won't understand and it may create another impact on us so better uh, from my bandwidth i take some time give that time to my client and i uh, make him understand what or fulfill all what he is uh, like what my client is demanding so it's kind of conflicting your manager is saying you to save your time and do other task but you are ready to uh, giving from your own time you are managing your time you are giving your client Time and also you are making sure that your work is not hampering so one thing you're adding that your manager is uh, like whatever he is uh, deciding from his perspective is absolutely right but you thought that you can manage your uh, time so this will add your time management skill uh, a point to your uh, time management skill next thing you can say that uh, client is your priority and at any point of time you won't just uh, uh, let them uh, do whatever they like want or uh, like keep them uh, with some uh, notes you will you are ready to help them with all the necessary thing so this thing if you answer like this it will uh, like add a lot of points uh, to your answer and whoever is taking like uh, interview he or she will be impressed so I will now show you, uh, you a demo answer how you can say. So you can say once I had a project, my client was uh, asking uh, for some uh, demo to do me. Though I have already done that demo in previous days, but still my client is asking again and again. And my manager said to provide all the links, all the video links and document. Don't waste time on that. But what I thought, um, maybe though he, there may be any confusion with the previous demos, so better I can give at least half an hour to uh, my client. I can set a call and I can uh, understood whatever he is facing. And if I find uh, found that if I find that uh, the problem is not that much, and with that demo they can understand everything, then I will provide them the demo otherwise i will show another demo for them so uh, giving half an hour from my time is not that much difficult for me when i am ready to work uh, with that extra half an hour without compromising my any other point so that time i had a like very uh, a minimal conflict with my manager but i was able to make him or her understand that uh, I am doing it by my own and I am ready to take this responsibility and at the end like I am only help I am trying to help my client so my manager was also okay with it. So this is the answer you are saying it's not you are uh, ending with any negative note a very small conflict situation you are raising and then this answer is going to very much helpful. Now I will show another uh, situation. So this is a uh, client based thing uh, or other way what you can do. So also I will say another example that will be also like this kind of client based because mostly if you can make your manager understand that you are mostly uh, you are very much uh, 
like helpful for your client then it's going to impact and i'm saying this client again and again because any project you are in maybe you're in support project or devops project or any development project every time there is one client and you need to handle the client request so taking the client example is surely going to help you so the next thing you can say that uh, once uh, i had a call uh, and they are asking for uh, to do something from scratch so uh, whatever they have asked uh, we have did each and everything and after that they are coming up with another request and for that my manager said that i need to charge them uh, more and they are ready to charge it uh, like they are ready to pay it but my manager said like don't move ahead with whatever they are requesting just make sure that you have they have provided all the details and then move ahead then start your work but from the client's end and they are forcing you to start as soon as possible so this uh, this is a situation that can be a tough situation for you the client is asking you to start the work as soon as possible and based on the experience your manager is saying wait let them uh, complete all the things and then uh, start and your manager is ready to talk with the clients but at this situation what do you thought that maybe instead of manager intervention maybe you can handle it more way like more efficient way because you are handling that client and suppose uh, once uh, your manager is coming maybe they know your manager but you are the responsible of handling that client they may think that what happened that some other people uh, intervene in this situation so what you thought like you uh, like you politely stopped your manager from saying that uh, and uh, you said that i can handle it by myself so it's not again a not a negative way you are taking the responsibility by own so taking a very uh, huge responsibility uh, can be uh, a risk but you have taken that risk and you can say that um, once uh, there was a situation my manager wanted to talk to client directly because they demanded something uh, on a very priority but they had a record that they are keep on changing uh, same thing again and again and it will be extra work for us but what i did uh, i talked to my manager and uh, uh, let him or her understood that um, uh, understand that if i can uh, because i was handling it will be easy to talk to client for me i can make them understand that uh, what is the situation is uh, i can maybe have a call and i can ask them for a email confirmation that this is the final change we are going to do i can understand uh, i can uh, tell them if they are again come up with another change it's also uh, going to be chargeable and uh, we can't do it again and again so i will uh, tell all the situation in a call maybe in that call i can uh, include my manager as well and then i can handle the whole situation so uh, this can be your answer so i have answered two question and for more um, most of the like two question i have uh, mostly client based uh, answer i give but what i focus like how eager i am to take the responsibility uh, how uh, i am like uh, obsessive to my like client I, at any point of time i don't want my clients to uh, like have a bad uh, impression for my team because i am the face of my team even uh, sometimes my company i have taken the responsibility even my manager was asking me something uh, uh, not that i am agreeing but i was able to make my manager understand uh, my point of view and uh, as i was right or my uh, whatever my suggestion was seem okay to my manager my manager also agreed with that point so all uh, the two example i said it will have many qualities uh, uh, you can show many uh, of this positive qualities of you within this one question so make sure whenever this question is coming you are preparing or framing a very good question so that you can answer this 
so if you uh, like this video and like the content please let me know in the comment section as i have another dsa series i have started for beginners you can check that as well and parallelly i will focus on this video series as well where i will be uh, answering the uh, short uh, questions how you should think and how you should answer this kind of questions so if you are liking this series and if you want me to answer more the question you can also post the questions in the comment section and uh, one thing uh, you can connect with me on topmet there is a one to one call we can have even i can take your mock interviews and if you want you can connect with me there as well and i also i am available in telegram and linkedin you can find the links, uh, links in the descriptions and if you have any feedback please let me know in the comment section if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and thank you bye